Right, we are live. Let's see here. Two out of two. All right, everything is set. Oh yeah, since uh, yeah, since we're starting a bit early, I thought it would be fun to play a you know a Nintendo 64 game before we started playing Identity Five. This is Banjo Kazooie for the Nintendo 64. It's a very fun game. I'd highly recommend it for those who like platformers. I'd actually argue this is the king of platformers. I mean, I do know that Super Mario War or Super Mario 64 it revolutionized 3D platforming, but this is the game that kind of took the cake. It pretty much solidified the. It, it pretty much set a lot of things in stone. It was definitely worth playing. They actually released a... it's like the Rareware Museum. It was on the Xbox 360, so if you can't play this on a Nintendo 64 or you know you want to play it legitimately, I would definitely recommend picking up on the 360 because it'll have much better frame rates. And I think they increased the resolution a little bit too. We're playing on the Nintendo 64 here, or at least we're playing on a uh, an emulator. Oh, I remember playing this game for hours and hours. Oh, I, I think so. The cartridge has ha the cartridge has three save spaces, and I filled all three out. Collected every jiggy. Anyway, let's start let's start moving around. So I've already played some of this game a little bit, just to try and get through because uh, the opening is a little, uh, oh, there's an enemy. But yeah, the opening's a little long, so I thought I should get through a little bit so we can get a little bit further in it than just watching cinematics. Evil carrot. Alright, let's move. Oh, there's an onion. We're making some, we're making a salad. Yeah, this is a basic platformer, if you can see. You run, you jump, you attack. The bird there is Kazooie. He does all of, the majority, of, I think, uh, let's see here. Yeah, Banjo can attack. He's kind of worthless, though. I mean, compare this. Oh, let's see here. Let's get over here. Compare this to that. Look at the distance. So naturally, that's going to be our main mode of attack. Let's go, let's go. Oh, this game is so fun. It managed to blend, get lots of things just right. For instance, this is on the 64 before camera controls. So we do have some camera control, but it's all through digital button presses. If, if we had an analog stick, it would be a lot better, but it, do what you got. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Up we go. Now, this game is surprisingly easy to play, even without the proper Nintendo 64 controller. All right, we're going on. We're heading to the next level. Let's see here. Down here. Yeah, this game pretty much took the Nintendo 64 by storm. Oh, I was to pay attention. What, she, what was she saying? Oh, hey. All right. Get some honey. Technically, we don't need it. Into the next level we go. But yeah, yeah, this game took the. Yeah, this game took. Oh, ahoy there! This be Treasure Trove Cove. There be two new moves for ye to find. Okay, we have to unlock our new. We have to unlock the next set of moves, but. Yeah, when this came out, it was compared heavily with Super Mario 64. 
and everyone you know, this was the definitive platform if you had only to play one this was it it had it was funny it had uh, lots of uh, you know the worlds were expansive and open you didn't get kicked out every single time you collected an item and that was a big problem for Super Mario 64. Every time you completed a mission, you started all the way back at the beginning. You had to throw you out and throw you back in. Oh, here's the move. You've reached a new heights with a shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on the shock di jump disc and press and hold A. All right. There we go. All right. And then obviously here's the spot where we test it out. Let's go do it. And down here. I wonder how many people actually do the way I do it. Hi there. Oh yeah, everything talks. Everything has eyes. Alright, let's go get this guy. Yeah, this is, uh, back when collect... Let's see, anything else we need? Nope. Alright. Up we go. Hey, crab. But yeah, yeah, this game, uh, it was, uh, very, uh, this was the definitive platformer. I, I, I mentioned that before. And then when Banjo-Tooie was coming out, everyone was so eager to play this, or play that one. And Rare had advertised, it's bigger, there's more to do. It's more of what you liked in this game. And uh, sadly, uh, ben Sadly, and sadly, uh, Banjo Tooie, uh, it uh, it was a bit too. It didn't capture the same flair as this game. Either way, let's go. Oh, let's get in there. Oh, that was a. Oh, that was close. They almost squished. They almost ate. All right. Take that clam. All right. All right. Never mind that. We're not going to go for that. I'm actually surprised no one... Uh, I mean, this game has received lots of mods and hacks, but I'm surprised that, uh... I guess it's because it's considered a, a near-flawless game. Oh, hey. Let's get it. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Alright, we need to... Alright, let's head back over there. We actually skipped it. Next. Oh, no, oh, don't bite me. Yeah. But this game, it pretty much, uh. Yeah. I think, uh. Oh, there is a mod for this game. It's called. It, it's kind of a. It's a fun one. It's Banjo Kazooie and the Jiggy of Time. I haven't played it yet, but apparently it's a. It's a blend of Banjo Kazooie with The Legend of Zelda. So it's a. It's like an homage, an homage, I should say, to the Nintendo 64 and platforms of the time. All right, let's go get this. I'll have to play it at some point. All right, now we get to learn to fly. Last, it better be easy, bo Boggles. Simple enough. Even the bird brain could do it. Alright, now we can fly. 
Alright. And we've done... Now we can complete the level. Oh, we should head in there. Oh, yeah. So close. Alright, let's, let's try again. Oh. Got it. Alright, and... Out. Now, harder to game B. Oh. We need that, too. Lots to collect. Lots to collect. Come on, miss. Leave me alone. Aw, oh, cheese and crackers. Just wait there. Cheese and... Cheese and crackers. Isn't that a... I thought I've heard that before somewhere. I think it was an Adventure Time, wasn't it? Yeah, it was an Adventure Time. They would say cheese and crackers when something mess when something uh, was going wrong. I have a feeling that's what he's doing too. Oh. Let's go ahead and get these jiggies. Oh yeah. Up we go. And right here. Oh, is there anything in there? Oh, uh, we kind of need that too. Oh, there's two of them. Oh. 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 Strats. Yeah. Okay, not strats. Oh, and... I think we can go down here too. Should be something down here. There it is. Yeah, very easy. Jump. Yeah, Rare has... I think back on the Nintendo 64, Rare was a juggernaut. Everyone, uh... Yeah. If you're playing games on the Nintendo 64, you're playing games from Rare. It was so shocking when Nintendo didn't buy them. Yeah, it was very shocking. I think everyone could have thought... Everyone was swearing that uh, they would because they created many, many franchises on the Nintendo 64 and they were, you know, when you think Nintendo 64, you're thinking of this, of Rare. And they have Banjo-Kazooie, they did Diddy Kong Racing. Ah, all right, let's fly. Yeah. Diddy Kong Racing, Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, they were working on Dinosaur Planet for the Nintendo 64. I should probably collect these too. And they had Blast Corps. Blast Corps is a fun, fun game. It's the kind of the... It's an interesting design. I haven't seen any other games like it. So in Blast Corps, you have to, you're tasked with making sure a nuclear bomb does not explode by destroying everything in the, everything in the stage. Yeah. Through wanton destruction, you save the city or the area from exploding. Oh, there's a clam down there. I just want to try and get us. I think this should be... Oh. Where could it be? Oh. Oh, where could it be? Where could it be? Let's go get it. Yum. Oh, come back here. Alright. Oh yeah, stop it. 
There we go. All right. Now we have four of the jiggies. Let's move. Oh, I saw that. We need that. There isn't... Mumbo isn't in this stage, but we do. We need to collect as many of them as possible because he gets pretty pricey as you move on. But yeah, this game had a... Has, I think... Ooh. Again, it set the standard. It set the standard. Oh, what's wrong with you? Ahoy there. I'm Captain Blubber, and I lost me treasure. When you... In me ship. We'll go find it then, blubber butts. Arr, but I can't swim. You're a hippo. Like hippos are the king. Like hippos, they, they love the water. Anyway, let's go down. Oh. Hey, there it is, the gold. Oh, and a mumbo token. Alright, gold. I have to ask. It seems like, as I said, everything here has eyes. So it makes me wonder. Well, everything has eyes and is sentient. So it makes me wonder, like, do these boxes have eyes? Oh. Box, you survived this round. Alright, well, well, we're gonna keep hold of the gold for now. Give it to you when we're done collecting both of them. Yeah, this game has... Oh, how many stages? I can't remember. 14, maybe? There's these very large, expansive stages with lots to do. And as you can see... You can do them all congruently. You don't have to... You don't get kicked out every time. So, easy to... Easy to play. Easy to complete each stage. And there's no backtracking. Oh. Okay, there is a little bit of backtracking in two stages. I don't... Don't know why exactly they did it that way. I think... Oh, we need that. Alright, let's give you these. But yeah, there's a little bit of backtracking at, at, uh, in the second er or third area, I should say. Yeah, the main hub is broken up into four stages. There's these lower floors, then there's the lower middle floor, which is kind of uh, where you'll kind of get to that. But then eventually you'll get to the upper middle floor. The upper middle floor has a snow level, a... Let's see here. It has a snow level, it has a... Try to think. Oh, my brain is go- My brain is failing me! My brain is- My brain is failing me! They have a snow level, they have a sand level, they also have... A... Halloween-themed level. Yeah, that's the- Those are in the upper- The upper middle floor. The top floor has... Well... We'll get there eventually. Well, not in this playthrough, but eventually. Just shell head. All right, we gotta get rid of this crab because otherwise it's gonna cause trouble. All right, let's wait for him then. Let's wait. All right, an opening. All right, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. That was very quick. Got him. All right. Let's go in here and get our jiggy. Right now we have 73, four. All right, 74 of these. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. Deal with you guys. Oh, Jiggy. All right. Now let's move. Yeah, the, the way... Th 
The way, the way these levels are set up, it's a, it's much better to complete them one at a time. I mean, one of the most annoying mechanics in this game, I mentioned it yesterday when we were playing Fur Fighters, but one of the, oh, one of the most annoying mechanics in this game is the collection of, oh, I need that, is the collection of the notes. And the reason why is because, hey, don't bite me. Mmm, lovely. Do not sample the bear. He does not taste like chicken. Not a bear kebab. Okay. But yeah, the those notes that we've been collecting and moving around and collecting, those... Oh, is there anything in here? No, we don't need it. But yeah, those notes, those notes... They are... Yeah, there they are, those. So these things... You collect them as you play through the game, but as soon as you leave the stage, they reset. So if I leave right now with 78 of these notes, it will tell me, oh, you collected 78 notes this last time. You should start collecting them all 100 again. So you have to collect them all in a single playthrough of this level. If you leave re and enter, or if you die and re-enter, then effectively, you know, effectively, you have to play the game, the level twice, and it's very annoying. Me leaky. All right, let's leaky patched up now. Empty the. the there we go. Thank you, leaky. Let's move. In we go. So 87. All right. So we just need 13 more. Oh, speaking of which. That's good. Hey, furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Yeah, I think most people here rhyme, don't they? Alright, we're spelling out the name. We're name dropping. Let's see here, where's the J? There's the J. Oh. Wait. You can actually type cheats in here. We'll have to do that. Though we have to be very cautious because, uh... The bad guy will actually delete your save if you put in too many cheats. Let's see, where's the Z? Where's the Z? Uh, there's the Z. Now uh, more O's. Oh, I. Last one. Right here, E. Alright, we did it. You'll cut me, huh? Alright, come get me. Aha! And there we go. Time to move. Go. All right. Oh yeah, that right there. This right here is a, a remnant of the Stomp and Swamp system. I don't know if anyone knows about it, but yeah, back then it wasn't easy to transfer data between games, especially physical cartridges. Nowadays you just have apply patches, or yeah, nowadays you can just apply patches, or because it's mostly software driven, you can easily grab the appropriate files but back then on the 64 it wasn't possible so they were thinking because there was a hardware yeah there's a hardware uh limitation on the nintendo 64 where okay 
Maybe we wouldn't call it a limitation, but there was something about the hardware where it would hold RAM in memory for 15 seconds upon shutting down the console. And Rare was hoping to take advantage of that by telling people to, well, effectively take the game out, effectively take the game out and replace it with another game so they could swap information. And then by doing so, they could, uh, you could unlock features in this game after playing Banjo-Tooie, and vice versa. However, maybe, well, okay, maybe not however. Maybe it was because Nintendo came to their senses. Hey, XO, how's it going? But yeah, the, uh, they decreased the amount of time the memory, they updated the hardware for the Nintendo 64, so they could decrease the amount of time that was memory is held. And thus it saved many kids from destroying their consoles by trying to do the Stomp and Swamp. We're playing Banjo-Kazooie. Have you seen this game before? Oh, this game came out uh, after Super Mario 64. Not that far off, I believe. Down we go. Oh wait, I didn't open the door. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is technically considered the king of platformers back on the Nintendo 64. Uh, Super Mario 64 came out and it was revolutionary, but this uh, this kicked uh, Mario's butt. This bear and his little birdie friend Kazooie right there. Oh. Ah, I'm missing one note. Where is that note? All right. Um, okay, yeah, where is this note? Ah, this is gonna, this is gonna be very aggravating, isn't it? Yeah, the, the one problem with this, with platform, or with collectathon platformers. If you miss one item, and you don't know where it is. All right, we're gonna have to look around, aren't we? Oh, maybe in here. Oh, oh thank. Oh, great. All right, we got them all. This is ludicrous. I'm about to say if you if we couldn't find that one, then. Oh, this is gonna be it's gonna be insane. All right. Oh, let's get some health. All right. Now we need to just finish this off. We have, I think, two more puzzle pieces. And actually, I don't remember where they are. I think if we fly around, we might see him. Oh, that just reminded me. There's that one. All right. Oh, I completely forgot about this one. All right, so we know where one of them is. Oh, I haven't been looking for these guys. I wonder where they are. All right, time for flying. I think one should maybe be over here. Where are we looking? Oh. We should get that. Let's see here. Anything over here? No? See, hmm. You know, I'm beginning to think maybe we should not bother with finding the other items and just head off. Yeah, the problem with this game is that the levels are just big enough that it feels that it doesn't feel like you're trapped in a closet, but they're just small enough that if you want to collect everything, it's actually possible. 
This makes it a... Yeah, that makes it... You kind of want to stick around in this level for hours. But we don't have that kind of time. Don't bite me. But over here. Oh. And all right, there's that one. All right. So the last jiggy are the yeah, the last one are finding the Jinjos. Oh, don't bite me. Don't bite me. Almost there. Oh, yeah. Oh, you bit me. Okay. Yeah, I completely forgot about collecting them. Alright, well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Oh. Alright, there's one down there. So that's three. Oh, okay. Ah, don't stop biting me. Stop biting me. I'm trying to rescue someone here. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna shoot. Can I shoot you? I don't think so. Alright, we got it. Alright. Oh, we better hurry up before. Or he gets me. Alright, so we have two left. Okay. Now where are these two? Usually you can... Oh, I heard him. I heard him go help. Around here, mister? In the tree, maybe? No. Not down there. Alright, maybe I was maybe I was uh maybe I was overhearing something. Okay. You know what? We don't need to rescue the Jinjos. Let's just leave. We're here to just play the game. We're not here to 100 percent We're not the game completionists here. We're just here to play through to play through and have fun. All right, so now we have more notes. That's good. Oh, we need this. Time to go to the next stage. Oh, actually, let's go get that jiggy first. Ah. Yeah, the controls are surprisingly tight in this game, even now. I don't know what kind of voodoo magic Rare did, but they, uh... Because I playing Super Mario 64 again, you can feel the... Yeah, playing Super Mario 64 again, you can feel the, the delay in some of the controls, and you can feel the... Pretty much, it's floaty. You know... Mario doesn't... As soon as you stop pushing the controller, Mario just continues moving for half a second. But for this... Look at that. He, he stops immediately. It's very nice. Next day... Oh. I always hated this stage. Maybe we should, uh... I wonder if I can skip it. Um... Hey, Jump by Pandas, how's it going? Right now we're having some fun playing Banjo Kazooie. Oh, let's go up. Oh yeah, we can make it. Yeah, we're gonna just uh, we're gonna continue heading up. We're playing the I would argue probably the best platformer that was released on the Nintendo 64. I will fight people for it. 
Oh yeah. This was a this was a childhood favorite of mine as well. I played this game so frequently that I think I actually ended up stripping some of the uh, cartridge, or you know, I played it so much that I put it and put it in and out of the Nintendo 64 so much that it definitely did something to the pins. But how could I not? This game was this game is fantastic. Oh yeah, I need to find. All right. We need to unlock the stage, so where is the unlock area? Oh, hi. We don't need to know about Grintelda right now. Yeah, I I agree. Uh, Banjo Tooie was quite fun. I played this one a lot more. Yeah, Banjo Tooie. I think there was just some. There was just some things about Banjo Tooie that it didn't. Uh... Well, let's see here. Hey, how's it going, Purbe? Oh, I need more. Uh, I need more uh, notes. But yeah, Banjo Tooie. It. It was quite fun, but I think because the levels were so big and they introduced a certain level of backtracking, it made that not as enjoyable to play as this one. Doing well, doing well. The weather is quite nice today, so nice and sunny. Right now I'm trying I'm getting lost looking for uh Oh in here. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that was one of the largest complaints. Alright, Magic Cauldron activated. That's good. And... Alright, let's go. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a long time, so I kind of forgot where everything was. Oh yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. Playing a, they had Banjo Tooie introduced a ton of new features, which was made it a fantastic play. If they would have tightened up the levels a bit, making them not so large. Oh, here we go. Yeah, if they tightened the levels up, making them not so large, and all right, let's go ahead and fill this in. If you want to place all the pieces, press the just press the Z button. Alright, new stage. I have a feeling it's gonna... Oh yeah, I have to play it anyway. Anyway. Let's play it. Yeah, and I also really like the Banjo and Kazooie separate mechanics. That was very fun. Actually, also the first person mode in Banjo-Tooie was quite fun. There's a lot of good stuff in Banjo-Tooie. I just think that the levels were a bit too large, and, and the backtracking really made it difficult. Oh, we want to go up now. I almost forgot. Up we go. Ah, that's what made uh, Nuts and Bolts so disappointing. When I heard Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts was coming out, I thought we would be going back to this old classic gameplay style, but sadly that didn't happen. I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised. They, uh, they actively mocked those who enjoyed the previous game. Like, it was, a. Uh, I want to know what they were thinking. I'm busy waiting for... Because I have the... So I've been collecting a lot of games, and... Banjo Nuts and Bolts is one of them. But I have not played it yet, largely because... I want to play it on my computer. So I have ripped the data, and the data's currently safely on my computer. I'm just waiting for the emulator to get better. 
once the emulator works great, then I'm going to have a... Uh, wait, I'm going to play Nuts and Bolts and see just how good and bad it is. I know that the game has a lot of complaints for it, and, I, and they're all valid, too. But at the same time, it's something to experience it. Alright. We opened up two stages. We are good. Now, okay, now... Do I go into Clank Clank? Or go into the Clank Clank? Again, I, I rem as a kid, I remember hating this stage with a passion. I kept drowning. And there were very few health po health points. You know, as a... As a spruce, I think, what, 12-year-old? Motor skills, not very good. Still trying to learn how to hold a controller. This stage was very vicious. Alright. One new move. Oh yeah, I know. Alright, let's go on through. We need that move. Maybe we should get it and then just leave. I, think I wouldn't be mind I wouldn't mind that. Oh, but we need the notes. Oh yeah. All right, well, we'll have to just play through it. We need the note. Lucky you, I'm an invincibility feather. Bottles will tell you more. All right, we'll have to find bottles. Oh, it was the... Actually, if I remember, it was these guys. Yeah, these guys, uh... I would always try and kill them, but, uh... I'd always run into him, and I would always lose my health, too. Ah, having very poor motor controls as a kid. Alright, now let's head on... Oh. Time to start swimming. Down we go. Yeah, the invincibility move is super useful. Oh, are you talking about the, uh, the pecking one that I was just using? That's like the main two move. Yeah, actually. One fun thing about this game was they introduced a lot of moves, but a lot of them had overlap. So ultimately, I ended up just focusing on different ones. Yeah, yeah, that move is very good. Very useful. But yeah, like, this flutter move? Kinda has the same as this move here. I think this one allows you to float down a little bit. So you have a, a downward floating. But for this one... So sometimes I'll just... Sometimes it'll just be easier to go... Oh! Anyway. We need to help this guy out. And to do that, we have to go... We have to go off ourselves. Well, okay, not exactly, but... This part was a, a giant pain, because you could drown. Alright, we're almost... Okay, we're down here. Okay, now where are the bubbles? Alright, there's the... That's what we need right there. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. If it... There it is, right there. Alright, give me the bubble. Alright, there we go. There's one. Two. Come on, give me another bubble. I need it. There we go. Okay. We're not drowning today. Yeah, if you're high enough up, you can float and get an extra second or two of the pick 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, one more time, and then we can escape this uh, underwater death trap. Oh yeah, I keep missing. There we go. All right. We rescued him. Now it's time to... Ooh, I wonder what happened to him, though. Yeah, some of the... Clank Clank has fresh air to finally reward on. Clanker's back. All right, let's, uh, let's hurry up and get this done. All right, we should probably collect more bubbles, too. I don't think we have enough air to make it back up. Oh. Want to give it? Nope. Oh, yeah. Come on, give me the... There we go. All right, we have one. All right, there's two. All right. All right I think that might be good. Let's, uh... Let's get these last few, and then head on up. Oh, and we'll, oh yeah, we need to rescue him too. Oh yeah. I almost forgot about you. There we go. All right, let's get this skedaddle. Oh, escape, escape, run, run. Run, run! Okay, alright. Yeah, I remember dying on that so many times. Not As I mentioned, poor motor controls. So, poor controlling of Banjo, which resulted in missing many air bubbles. Oh, I can't... Im I think everyone's favorite is Click Clock Woods. I that was that's I actually would say that's my favorite as well. It's Click Clock Woods, uh, followed by the Halloween one. I kind of forgot the name of it right now, but the Halloween motif world. Yes, yes, that one. Yeah, I can remember. Those were the two stages I always loved to go play. Oh. Ha! Ah, whoops. I messed up there. Let's get back. Yeah, I think, uh... Yeah, Click Clock Woods. I always love playing that one, going through the different seasons. It's always quite fun. And there we go. There we go. Alright. And let's get this one. And the mansion one. That was very fun. It's quite uh, fun going around a Halloween theme style area. Oh. oh, he almost got me. Oh. And the, the third one I really liked was the snow stage with the giant snowman in the center. I love that one because it was so fun to race the polar bear. And Freezy Peak are my least favorite. Oh! Oh, it's the snowman. Okay. I actually enjoyed Freezy Peaks a lot because of the fact that I could uh, ram into the snowman. And I love uh, racing the uh, polar bears. The polar bear uh, father. But yeah, this one was my, uh, let me think. I didn't like this stage a lot. And what was this, the other stage? Oh, it was the Industrial Factory one. I forgot the name of it, but there was this, uh, the stage, it's like thir the uh, second to last stage. It's in a giant industrial factory where you had to go through the boat. And the thing I hated the most was the fans. Those annoying fans, you would just, uh, you have to jump right through them, and if you didn't, you could fly off into the pit. And if you flew off into the pit, yeah, Rusty Bucket Bay, I hated that one. That was, 
I had lots of ire for that stage because it just took one, one mess up and you had to start all the way back over collecting notes. And that was, uh, yeah, I hated that. I did kind of like the motif of Rusty Bucket Bay, but it's just the fans, those... The fans and the bottomless pits and the poisonous water. That those those three things right there just made it one of my least favorite. Well, I probably should go get air before going in there. Oh, actually, um, one of the levels I'm mixed on is the one that's right after this. It's the the swamp level, because the swamp level was very fun. Oh, we already been. All right, this was already came through this one. Let's go back. But yeah, the swamp level was uh, it was very fun. But also, there was a lot of hazards that you could run into. And some of the mini games in that one were a bit confusing. All right, let's head on down and. Heading on... There it is. That's what we're looking for. I think I should have enough oxygen to get on in. All right. There it is. Gotcha. There we go. Time to get out before I drown. Which means, uh... Oh, oh, it looks like I might drown real quickly. No, don't drown, Banjo! Get some air, quickly! Oh! That was very close. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I would hate it to have to start all the way back over. Let's go ahead and collect some more stuff over here. I think what I'll do is I'll collect just enough of these puzzle or these uh, notes. Actually, speaking of which, I believe this is enough. We can go up to the next area now. So yeah, I'll collect enough notes. I will go collect the, new, the special skill, and then we'll head on out. Oh, let's aim. Play me a little bit better. There we go. Oh, this tooth not hurt now. Oh, you gotta feel sorry for him. Mr. Clanker here. Like, he has, uh, tooth problems, he's wounded all over, and he's been in, he's been in very murky, disgusting water. Time to go get the skill. Yeah, one problem... Uh, I mentioned it earlier. One problem this game has is that the levels are just small enough. And the items are so condensed enough that you just want to complete it all. You know, collect everything, but... Yeah, we don't have time to do that. Even if one wants to. It's like right here. This is a, another area where you can get a puzzle piece. All right, let's let's go ahead and do this real quick. Now I got to go through a little mad. Uh, I'll go through some hoops. Oh 
Come on. Almost there. There we go. And then here. Let her on through. And then, there we go. Last one. Let's go for it. There we go. All right. Yeah, this game's just so fun. Actually, one fun thing is that because of the popularity of this game, a lot of fans actually added in. Well, they they made a bunch of updated textures for the game. So if we wanted, we could actually use uh, some of the Nintendo 64 emulators out there to apply updated textures. And it makes everything look much crisper. Now, maybe I'll have to try and get that set up. I don't know, maybe some people would like to be interested in something like that. Banjo kazooie with enhanced textures. Or they could play the Xbox version. The Rare Museum version, maybe. All right, let's see here. I think this is through the gills, isn't it? Hey, how's it going? Hey, Aaron. Yeah, that's through the gills. Let's go back. Oh, this is an awesome game. Let's see here. Oh, I haven't... Let's head on down and get those there. Oh yeah, this is uh, What are you... Aaron, what are your favorite levels? So far, we have a consensus that... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I didn't want to go out. We have uh, Click Clock Woods, which is a great one. And the... Mansion uh, is a great one. Jump by Pandas. Uh, he hates uh, the snow level with the snowman. Well, that's one I kind of, I really enjoyed, so that's kind of a, that one has a mixed voting on it. Oh, we need to find the, all right, where are you, mister? Oh, there it is. Flight pad. Your favorite level is the Winter Village. Oh, so it's the, uh, it's the stage that, uh, all right, so that's two against one now on the voting. I can kind of understand why uh, Junk by Pandas didn't like the winter level, the winter village stage, because those snowmen were very annoying. And, and especially when they would hit you uh, from long distance, they, they would snipe you. And it's very annoying to get sniped by them. But I get it. Let's see here. Yeah, I, I contend the worst stage for me was Rusty Bucket Bay, which is the stage with the giant anchor in it. All right, now we've learned all the moves. Oh, time to super move. This is a very good move in Smash Brothers. All right, there we go. Six puzzle pieces. I think that's good. Actually, yeah, we did we did collect some of the Jinjos. We're missing two. I don't really want to look for them. I think the bigger problem are the the music notes. All right, so we probably should. Oh. Let's head on over this way and head on out. We're gonna head on up. Oh yeah, all right, it won't let me up there, okay. All right, we're going to head through out through the gills then. This, uh... Oh yeah, the, uh, I... There's a hack out there for Banjo-Kazooie. It's called the Jiggy of Time. 
Apparently it's supposed to be a fan... is a fan homage to the Nintendo 64. They added in a lot of fun stuff in it. And it's a... I believe it is a Banjo-Kazooie hack, which imported in assets from all the different type of games from the Nintendo 64. So, it's definitely worth giving a look at it at some point. Alright, I think this is good enough. Let's head on up. Let's... We'll forget about the Jinjos again. Let's go to another stage. Let's get on out of here. Alright, here we go. Hey, Slay Time, how's it going? We're having some fun playing Banjo-Kazooie before we play some Identity 5. Have you ever played this game? Oh, bad. Oh, that's not good to hear. What happened? You had 800 ping today. Oh. Okay, that is that is bad, but... Oh, when you said it, things were going bad for you, I thought I was thinking something else. Glad it's uh, bad in the sense of the game is acting up, and not a bad in. I don't know. Oh my, my dog, my dog ran away, and we haven't found him yet. This is life ending. <laughs> well, it's definitely gameplay ending. I will, uh, I will contest. So is it? I guess the question, I, I the big question is, is it because of your phone? You hate dog. Oh, why do you hate dogs? What's wrong with them? I have to know. What did the dogs do? Or is this a or is this an overgeneralization where you know you're not fond of dogs? They are hairy and ah, okay. Alright, so it's one of these kind of overgeneralizations. Got it. They're hairy and messy and loud. Yeah, yeah. Well, that are those are dogs. All right. So it, it's a so it's more like a you're just not a you're just you're not a dog fan. It's not necessarily that you hate dogs. It's just that you wouldn't want to keep care of one. Now, cats are fun, too. Cats are much more independent. If you're a person who wants an independent pet, then the cat is definitely a way to go. Alright, let's go on up into the stage. We... Oh, actually, we should have... We should have gone the other way. Let's go back. We can actually go higher up into the levels. So we should definitely do that. They actually do sell dogs that, uh, there are different types of breeds of dogs, which they don't shed, so you don't have to worry too much about hair getting everywhere. And there are actually certain dogs that are bred not to be loud. You don't like them near you. I see. Ah, oh, poor doggies. Poor, poor doggies. Ah, oh. Aha! So fun. Alright, let's get this. It's not that their hair gets everywhere, it's just their hair. But humans have hair. And... I mean, you said you like hairless cats, but... A large... There's not very many hairless animals. I mean... I think everything had, oh. Ah, got it. Okay, I need the, uh... Yeah, yeah, I need to, uh... Unlock that before. All right, let's go back.
But yeah, the... Have something against hair. Oh, you probably definitely hate, uh... Probably definitely hate the... Because there's some... There are some people out there who are like giant, uh... You know, like they're giant, hairy... Like Mr. It from the Addams Family. Now we're looking to get further up. Oh yeah, here's the uh, upper middle floor I was talking about. Hey, this is the stage that we were talking about. The one that, uh, the one you either love it or hate it. I, I personally like this stage, but I know a lot of, uh, as we just said, we just found someone who doesn't like it. Wow, let's go. People who are hairy make me uncomfortable. I, I am quite confused. Oh, oh yeah, the timer. I forgot about the timer. Now let's continue head heading up. Hey, Banjo, how's it going? Is there something wrong with hair? Yeah, I'm quite curious. I'm quite curious. What? Is there something... Uh, something I've... Because, uh... Alright. Yeah, very curious. Very curious. I'll have to... I'll have to figure more... or uh, hear more about the problems with hair later. Because it's quite... intriguing to hear why, uh... What's the problems with hair? Alright, let's see here. We want, uh... Hey, how's it going? Sadly, I think I'm gonna have to go back to that stage. They kind of blocked everything off. Oh, whoops. I missed. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try again. I have trick of phobia. All right. The fear. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna actually have to look that up. I don't know what trick. I'm guessing it's the fear of hair, since that's kind of what we're talking about. Let's see here, let's go hop, jump, and now. I missed again. Okay, I'm gonna kill myself if I continue doing that. Let's just leave. Actually. Let's see here. I guess we should, uh, head on. The, oh. oh, hey, here's the, uh, this is a fun stage right here. I like to help Gobby. Oh yeah, we'll have to help Gobby out. Now we need those shoes though. And those are in the other stage that we're going to. That we're just going to kind of. All right, we. All right, let's go on down. We have to head to the next stage. We actually have who we have 10 minutes before yeah so we have 10 minutes to play through the next stage and then we're hopping over to identity five into we in here we go to the swamp. Bubble Glop Swamp. Alright. And we're in. And a new oh. Hey, how's it going?
Well, he wants to eat. So let's give him food. Yummy. Croc just like that. Me want yummy gag too. Ah, oh, this is fun. Everything talks to you in this game. Oh, the new move. That's very quick. These are the white waddling boots. Chicken Legs wears them so you can safely waddle through dangerous areas, like the swamp, for a limited time. Okay, Chicken or Kazooie, let's grab a pair. Hmm, your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. Alright. Alright, that's good. Nice and good. Hey, Lady Kitty, how's it going? We're playing Banjo-Kazooie. At least for 10 minutes, and then we're going to hop over to Identity 5. Now, this is a fun game, but I don't know if... I don't know how many people have played this game. Yeah. Evil Piranha, stop biting me. Keep out of... My feet aren't smelly. I have you know my, I wash all the time. Yeah, take that. Ha, ah, fear my welly boots. Okay, let's try and rescue him again. So how many people have seen this game? So far I have uh, two two people on the, who appear, who appeared on the stream who love this game. I'm wondering has anyone else seen this? I see here. Oh, so, oh, uh, apparently it's been bad, pretty uh, bad for Slay Time. His, uh, his internet connection has been quite poor. Uh, I think it's his internet connection, because uh, he's been getting horrible ping in Identity 5. As for me, my day has been pretty, pretty good so far. Enjoying some Banjo Kazooie. Uh, I'm gonna have to open this up. Oh, okay. This should be easy. Oh, I have to go up there again. A weird egg. Where? I uh, hear. Oh, and on the top one more time. Ah, quite fun. Yeah, yeah, things have been good for me. I'm currently being surrounded by furries, three of them to be exact. Oh! So what are... Yo, you should, uh... What kind of furries are we talking about here? Furries bothering you. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm asking. With the fact that she mentioned three furries, it, it makes me think they are of the animal persuasion and not the. Yeah, the f not the first two people. Ugh, it's an ugly hairy trespasser. Our gold. Uh-oh. The bees are coming after me. Oh, sorry, the frogs. Well, take this. Aha! You guys don't stand a chance. First two people. Oh, so you do have actual furries around you. Are they asking you to draw stuff? Also gave me a bag of sm small peepees. 
Okay. That's sounding a bit interesting. Alright, let's go try and get this again. They want you to be very... They want you to very, be very slow. They're worried about you falling off. Or, it's kind of what they want. Like that. I was trying to... Ah, oh, my, the hubris. I tried to speed through. All right, let's try that again. Oh, yeah. Sadly, they are my roommates because I am about to go to a furry con. Oh! I did not know that... Well, I kind of knew furry cons were a thing, but at the same time... I didn't know that there was... They started back up. Interesting. Hopefully they're normal furry people. They're not the... The last furry I met barked and growled at me. Yeah, that's the, ki that's the kind of people I'm talking about. Like, hopefully they're not like that. Let's go rescue you. And let's get you guys. Alright, oh, we need the tuck. Oh, yeah! Mumbo's here! Oh, we should totally, uh. Oh, yeah, we should totally go check out. Say hi to Mumbo. I think we have enough. You know, I think I'm gonna die falling off more than anything's gonna kill me. See, yeah, I'll probably, probably because other people have a few new world of insults it can do. We don't talk about that side of the community if... I see, I see. Alright, oh yeah, time to go get, go meet Mumbo. The music in this game is great. Yeah, the, uh... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump, jump. Get out of there. Okay. I made it. Ooh, for a second I thought I was gonna... Ah! Okay. Yeah, I keep missing these. I'm gonna... It's gonna mess me up. Run, Banjo. Jump! I think I can still make- yeah, alright, I made it. Uh, they are fun to be around, just not my kind of people. I think- alright, I'm gonna forget that one for now. I wanna go see Mumbo. First you see it, now you don't. Man, you wasted my time, you witch. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. Alright, we made it. Actually, I... Most of the people I know that are uh, furries are through the internet. I don't actually know... Yeah, I, I never met any in person, so I can't really say much about interacting with them. Wait, Mumbo need- oh, no, gotta run. He's gonna turn me into boots. Alright. Hey, speaking of furries, look, I'm an alligator. Fear my little guy. I bite you. Come here. Oh, yeah. Come back here, I wanna bite you. Ah, oh well. I saw, uh, when you saw... Ah, uh, it, it's because... It's because the Avatar is a raccoon. I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised. A 
raccoon. It's kind of weird having a raccoon play uh, a raccoon avatar playing a uh, a game. Hey, Mr. Man. Oh, you're huge. Hurrah! I'm Mr. Vile. Mr. Vile. Mr. One moment, let me think. Oh, there's an 80s song, I think, that has Vile in it. Wait, come back here. I want him. Yeah, the raccoon. Oh. I gotta hurry up and finish eating. Wait, I wanted that. Oh, I know. I steal the one. I'm gonna steal the one. Oh, come back here. Yeah, he's gonna win. He's gonna win. I gotta watch out. He's, he's already. He's already pulling ahead. Oh yeah, I'm gonna steal yours. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stay in front of you. Come back here. I'm gonna prevent you from eating. No, no. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, we won. You only win game because easy. We play harder game. Eat red, avoid yellow. Grumble, grumble. They not ripe ready. Three, two, one. Okay, let's try again. Alright, let's if we can uh, prevent him from eating, I think we can win. He's a bit too fast. Yeah, I think uh being a ra uh picking the raccoon avatar, I I kinda knew that there was gonna be complications or people would think the, along those routes. But I thought I wanted to... I'm going to pick the record. Oh yeah, I missed one. Hey, he can... Where are there any more? Oh, there. Ha. Ah. No, that one's mine. Oh, perfect. Oh, I think I'm going to win. All right. All right, we won. All right, let's speed on through. Oh, wait, are we going again? Uh, I thought, okay. All right, it's 1230. We should probably, we should move on to playing Identity 5, so. We'll call it, we'll save here. Yeah, we'll save here. We can watch the the game over screen too. Hi, Raccoon Avatar. I actually have a. I've been trying to work more on his uh, because, well, his face is a little bit off given where his nose nose is positioned. So I've been working on that. Look at Grunty. Beautiful. Much prettier than today. You are... Yes, you are, mistress. Grunty, nice. Come back to Mumble Skull. Yes. Oh, yeah. The, I do, the story of the game. I, I don't know if anyone knows the story, but the way it goes is... The ugly witch Gruntilda is angry that Banjo's sister is con considered cute. So she kidnapped her sister, uh, his sister, and she's going to transfer the cuteness over. And that's why Banjo is going through her lair to stop her, to rescue his sister. And that's what happens if you quit. So, it's a very silly game. What kind of green ass dog was that? Um, oh, you're talking about her sidekick? That was, uh, think of Igor. That's what he was. 
There's Tootie, the one that was uh, turned into, well, lost her cuteness. This is fun, Gary. No, you're right. I wouldn't exactly call Hot Grunty cute either, but I think that was the premise of the story. Yeah. It's actually a very weird uh, ending. It's a very weird game over screen. Because, as you said, Hot Grunty is, uh... Yeah, Hot Grunty. I think a lot of people liked Hot Grunty back then, actually. When the game came out. I digress, I digress. This has been Banjo-Kazooie. Having lots of fun playing this game. We'll have to play some more later, but for now, we should move on over to Identity 5. We have some ranks to play. So, yeah, let's so let's do that. I'm going to stop the stream for five minutes so that I can switch everything over, and then we play some Identity 5. I'll see everyone over there. Now yeah, we have some ranks to go through, and some hiding and seeking. So see everyone in five minutes. I really should probably animate an outro. My character just stand here. Alright. I do have a bigger version though. But the problem is, is you can still see me. Either way, either way, okay. Hopping off, we'll see everyone in five minutes.